Coming back to the myelin sheath that we mentioned for axons, uh, axons have a myelin sheath and we said that that acts like insulation and, and allows signals to propagate more quickly. So now that we know about all this ion flow that's going on, let's think about how that can be. How is this a helpful thing? So let's consider this axon that's shown in yellow right here. We can see the myelin sheath is wrapped around it. And let's just consider we're going to pick a spot right here and let's suppose that an action potential has just taken place at this location. So there was some sort of uh, stimulus that caused a few initial ion channels to open and then that caused some ions to rush across which caused voltage gated ion channels to open and so an action potential took place that depolarization would cause neighboring voltage gated ion channels to open. Okay, so what would ordinarily happen is maybe right here where my laser pointer is, right here is the next site where the depolarization would spread to if it could. However, there's this myelin sheath wrapped around. So even if, even if voltage gated ion channels open right here, essentially nothing's going to happen. There's physically not a way for ions to rush across this membrane. The myelin sheath is blocking ion movement. So instead of the ion, um, instead of the depolarization really causing ion movement right here, instead what happens is the next available place is way over here. Okay, this is the next spot where there is some exposed plasma membrane. So this is the next location where an action potential will take place. So essentially, the action potential jumps. It jumps from node to node to node. Um, signal propagation happens really quickly, this means, uh, because it doesn't have to take time like spreading the signal through this region. It can just jump from this location to this one to this one. That's called saltatory conduction. Let me write that word down. This is called saltatory conduction. And this is how myelinated neurons transmit signals. So this really helps to speed up electrical signal propagation. There are a couple of other things that can influence conduction speed as well. The literally the size of um, of the axon, the diameter of the neuron. If you have a if you have a an axon that has a very small diameter, then it just doesn't allow very much space for ions to move and and diffuse. So um, signals tend to to propagate a little bit more slowly in that case. But if you have a nice big thick axon, one with a large diameter, signals tend to transmit more quickly in that case. So diameter of the neuron and then also myelination. So um, in regards to myelination, if you have a neuron that is unmyelinated, I'll write this down too, uh, um, just for comparison, a neuron that is unmyelinated, so it doesn't have the myelin sheath, in that case, signal propagation is about one meter per second one meter per second, so it could travel a distance of one meter every second. But if we have a nice myelinated axon instead, um, then the speed is way faster. It's about 100 meters per second. So very big difference in terms of speed, one meter versus 100 meters. So much better, much more, much quicker to have a myelinated axon in terms of signal propagation. Here are some examples of different um, conduction velocities according to size of, of the neurons. So axon size, remember that correlates with um, speed of the signal being sent and so it's nice to have quick signals, but it's not always necessary. So in some cases in the body, we don't have to send signals super, super fast. It's okay if the signal goes at a little bit of a slower pace. Uh, so things that we do need to be able to move quickly include things like our muscles, right? Voluntary muscles. So conduction velocities tend to be pretty quick um, for neurons that, that are related to muscle position. 
a lot of our sensory neurons are sort of intermediate in terms of how quickly they send signals. Um, so feeling things like touch and pressure, we get the signal quickly, but it doesn't have to be necessarily immediate. Um, and then coming down here on the lower end of the list, things, neurons that have slower conduction velocities tend to be associated with autonomic functions. So these are non-voluntary. Um, this is something that we'll be spending another chapter on coming up.